working on a uh, Raymond ECR30TT which has a code 23 issue. Upon startup, let me show you what's happening with this one. So key on, just for self test, and there you go, it's off the bat, code 23. Alright, so what I've done right here is I hooked the oscilloscope with my uh, channel B which is the red trace it's going to be hooked up to the block that this cable is actually coming from the motor and this is going to be the collector basically of that transistor this whole block itself is part of the collector for the transistor so that's going to be our red trace and then my blue trace which is channel A I'm looking at the uh, base signal for that transistor coming in from the power card all right, so setup right now is channel A, channel B. Let's try to uh, close this again. So setup right now is 50 volts for A and 50 volts also for B. I have a trigger set up for channel B. All right, so let's run it again. Ted, turn it on. Okay. Turn it off. So as you can see right now from the trace, so my channel A, which is the blue trace, and my channel B, which is supposed to be my collector. So I'm hooked up to the collector and the base. And as you can see, both uh, traces are identical, which shouldn't be that way, All right? So you got 22 something volts going to the collector which is okay, it should be like that, I meaning to say that my power, my voltage coming from the main contactor is going through the motor and into the collector side of the transistor. What's abnormal is on the blue trace, which is uh, my uh, channel that's hooked up to the base, is also seeing the same amount of voltage and it's cl clearly identical. So what's happening here is there's a short between your collector and the base of that transistor. So how we're going to prove that is we're going to take away the um, we're going to take out the wire right here. We're going to take unscrew this wire going to the transistor and test it again. All right. So Ted, let's do that. Take the battery off for now, and then we're going to unscrew this. Okay, this time around we're going to be doing the same test, but we have the uh, wire which is from the power card connecting to the base of the transistor. We got it disconnected, so what we want to see is, is that power card pulsing the actual transistor? Is it giving a signal for the transistor to turn on? So, almost same setup. But as far as time base, we changed it up to like 500 milliseconds for division. And voltage is around 20 volts for channel A. Alright. Okay, let's turn it on again, Tab. Okay, it's a good capture. Let's pause this. And this is what we want to see. So, let's zoom in on that for a bit. So my blue trace, like I said, is channel A, which is the uh, base signal coming from the power card. So I started up at zero, and at this point, power from the main contactor went through the motor and into the collector side of that transistor. And right here is where you see the signal coming in from that power card. To that base. So let's zoom in on that a bit. Much better. Zoom in a bit more. There you go. So six something volts, square wave signals, meaning to say that the power card is doing its job. So it gives more evidence right now that the short is within the actual transistor the collector and the base is actually shorted 
So the problem with this right now is that battery voltage that came from the collector is also going through the power card. So although the power card right now is still working and there's a danger of residual, residual damage on this power card. But for now, I mean, we're just going to have to replace the Q1 but also test the other components because usually when a Q1 blows, I mean, it could be blown just by age, right? Heating, but more often than not, it's going to be external factors. Um, so we have to test all the other components that are associated with this Q1, like the um, Rec1 and the capacitors and the diodes, which is part of the snubber circuit for this um, Q1 transistor. So like I was saying earlier, so we already know that the Q1 is already blown, but what we want to test is the other are the other components basically that works with the uh, transistor like the resistor, diode and capacitor which acts as snubbers for the uh, voltage feedback from the motor when it's being turned off and like I said the best way to do that is to actually remove the whole block so you can actually see the um, or visually inspect the components and also test it, uh, test it as well and the tool that we're going to be using to test this these components is going to be the uh, handyman so the handyman basically is a tool that puts out 200 volts for you to be able to see if this um, diodes or uh, are going to be leaking voltage on the reverse side reverse uh, with the reverse polarity so what we're going to do is we, first we're going to put it on leakage test right? so what would happen is you have your black lead connected to your cathode on the meter on the handyman and you're positive to the anode side so on leakage test so right now even if you touch it there wouldn't be any response from it unless you push the leakage test oh. and you would see the actual LED lighting up because there is continuity between the anode and the cathode alright so moving it pushing it alright so now we're gonna test the um, the first big diode <coughs> so positive on the base then negative on the tail and then we show the meter right here and uh, we push the leakage test okay that's fine that's forward biased now we're going to put it on reverse so the LED didn't light up you need to say 200 volts was going through reverse but it didn't pass through Alright, so this diode is still good. Now we're going to check the uh, smaller diode, which is this one. So this one, let's check it again. Forward biased. Positive on the base, and then negative on the tail end. Show that to you right now. Push the leakage test. Okay. Good. Other way around now. Let's show this tail end. We should leakage test. Okay, that diode is still good. It's able to hold 200 volts back on the reverse bias. Okay. Again, you can also do the same test on the Q1, but we already know this is blown. So what we're going to do right now is, and we seen with the oscilloscope earlier, there is voltage passing through from the collector to the base of this transistor. So the collector is going to be the bottom part of this. This would be the collector side for this transistor. And then the base is going to be this guy right here. So we have it on continuity. and without any gate signal. Okay, next component that we're going to be testing out is this capacitor. So the way I test these capacitors is I put my uh, meter on X1 or X10, zero the meter, 
right? And then I would just touch my positive and negative leads on ends of the uh, capacitor, and then I would watch the needle go to the right hand side, and then slowly go back to zero. All right? So let's do that test. Oops. Okay. Goes back to zero. And then switch up the leads. Do the same thing. Goes back to zero fully. Do it again one more time. Okay. So the only difference is when you put it on X10. Like right now, I put it on X10. Again, touch your leads. And you're going to have to zero your meter again. All right. What it's going to do is because you have a higher resistance now, the capacitor is going to discharge slower. So let's look at that. So if you can see it, it's slowly discharging. It's slower than when you're using the X1. But same procedure. What you want to see is the capacitor going back or the reading going back to zero again. Just like that. Alright, so that tells me the capacitor is okay. And this would be the next best thing. And then the last thing to check would be my resistors. Okay, just put in the uh, new transistor on this one, the new Q1. We already checked all the uh, snubber circuits that are along with this block. Checked everything out fine. So we're now gonna power it up. See what happens right now. Batteries in, cut. All right, power it up. Okay, self test. No codes. All right. Step on the dead man. Try to run it. All right. Make sure you can see it. The motor's already running. All right. <laughs> 